Today we are doing something totally different than what we've ever done before. We are putting the spotlight back on creators in a really cool way. We are going to be interviewing Dolphin Dom. Dolphin Dom is an amazing creator who has done stuff for YouTubers like Lachlan, Laserbeam, Sundy, and so much more. He was even invited out to the World Cup by Epic themselves. If you guys enjoy this series, go ahead and hit the like button, and if you have a creator you want to see highlighted, go ahead and put them in the comments below. And we are going to be building Dolphin Dom's aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, heck yeah. Okay, so my first question for you is going to be, what made you want to start spotlighting creators on Twitter? For those that don't know, uh, Dolphin Dom has done 40 days now? Yeah, Forty Tonight will be 41. That is awesome. 41 days of spotlighting different creators, and it's just a really cool way to spread positivity. So what made you want to start doing that? Well, I was hanging out with some people in a call, and um, there was some drama going on in the official creative Discord drama and, in uh, that discord oh my gosh yeah there usually is but yep. um i don't know this time i i just was talking to them all like it's like you know i don't like this negativity it should be like positive like this community is supposed to be positive it's literally not competitive at all like we should be able to just hang out and have fun yeah so i was just given i guess the idea of um sharing positivity creating these spotlights but being said i went over to twit longer and i was able to write my first post on tiny maniac and uh it went over really well and a lot of people seem to like it so i just continued to do it reason for it so it's cool seeing people like you i know immature has done some little mm. just fun things so it's cool to see it dolphin dom is a unique name how did you come up with that <laughs> I've been asked the question before, and it's a funny story that I can tell along with this. So, for starters, um, I used to be on a swim team uh, a couple of years ago. It's been a long time. But um, in that swim team, I was one of the fastest for a long time. And uh, my coach, at some point, started calling the dolphin or dolphin dom. Like, she's the one who uh, started saying it first. And then, um, I think it was like, Club Penguin or something, I started playing. I'm like, I need a name. And I just remembered that she had called me that. And I was like, oh, that's kind of a fun name. And dolphins weren't even necessarily my favorite animal then. I mean, they are now, but that's pretty much by like force, I guess. But I, I like them. They're actually my favorite. But that's anyways, <laughs> yeah. So I was on a swim team. That's awesome. And uh, she started calling me Dolphin Dom. That's so cool. That's what intrigued you about creative in the early days and how did you first get involved? Um, so, I was a big Minecraft guy. I think a handful of people in the community definitely were. But, uh, so I was on Minecraft. And I always liked building on Minecraft, not, like, to the extent of a build team or all those crazy builds you saw on there. But, um, that being said, I uh, played a lot of factions, and I built, like, a, uh, you built, like, a big obsidian tower, I guess. It was just a block, so you couldn't do much in it. But I always enjoyed like decorating a room in that for me. Because we usually had rooms for each player of the faction kind of scenario. And I really enjoyed that. So I already knew I liked building and decorating, even if it was just on Minecraft. But uh, then um, Fortnite VR came out. And it's like, I started playing Season 2. And that was just for Battle Royale. And I continued to play Battle Royale all the way through season seven. And then um, my Twitter feed was blowing up one night and I noticed that Lachlan had leaked <laughs> the um, creative mode and I watched that and I thought that was amazing and really cool. So I was hyped for that. And then uh, you need the battle pass to play for the beta week. I bought the battle pass to play for the beta week and then um, kind of went from there, I guess. Uh, I, I just kind of goofed around on it for a little bit. I never really took it seriously. I didn't really think I was anything special, I guess, necessarily. And um, so I ended up building um, like, just like little mini games for me and my friends to play at the time. Nothing professional, I guess. And then uh, I guess eventually I got in contact with Auckland. That's awesome. And how did that process work? Like, because now you, you play with 
laser beam lachlan you've done a lot of work with yeah, those yeah. oce guys how did so, that first come about um well a lot of it is lachlan so i guess how i got in contact with lachlan was um i made a cops and robbers map based off of the old minecraft one and um then i just when i finished it i was like this kind of cool maybe i could tweet some youtubers and see if they'd be interested it was more kind of like a joke thing with my friends They're, they gave me the idea of doing it i never actually thought it would go anywhere but um so i tweeted it out i left my computer went to go take a shower and uh, when I came back, I noticed that six minutes after I had made the tweet, Lachlan had replied, DM'd me, and added me on Fortnite. And uh, I was kind of freaking out. For oh, yeah, reasons. for sure. One, he's a large YouTuber. Two, my friends decided it'd be funny to place llamas everywhere on my map. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so I had to, like, destroy all those. So that was fun. That's and hilarious. Thinking, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Then, uh, that night, uh, I actually had Lachlan join my game and record the video all then and there. So uh, it escalated really fast, but uh, that's how I first got in contact with Lachlan. That is insane. I can only imagine. Speaking of that team, how is all that going? How did that come about? Because that, that is a powerhouse of a team. <laughs> yeah, Team Jolt. So, um, Team Jolt is uh, Lachlan, myself, and Andrew. We're Andrew. And uh, I guess it formed with Lockie's Landing, even though it wasn't official back then. But um, for Lockie's Landing, uh, initially it was going to just be me building it. And I, I was like half terrified, but I was like, all right, I guess we can do this. Because <laughs> it was a world come out. Yeah. Gotta be a little more on top of your game. Mm -hmm. So when you're preparing for it, uh, Epic let um, Lachlan know that he can have two people build the map for him if you'd like so then he immediately thought of word andrew because uh lachlan was a big fan of his dungeon prison maps mm. so uh he asked he checked with me he's like is word andrew an awesome guy or whatever because i with uh team creative the discord i had the opportunity to talk to him beforehand of course and then um from there i was like he's an amazing guy and a really good builder so then uh lachlan immediately reached out to him and before we knew it, we had the three of us in a group call talking about the Lockheed's Landing map. And um, it wasn't Team Jolt at the time. It was just kind of like a one project kind of thing. And then over the course of the months, I guess, at World Cup, we met again in person. And this time we talked together there. And then it, we started more projects. And then uh, they, uh, we didn't really decide Team Jolt was a thing until right before the FN Go time event for Bolt Bash. I think that's where we decided, I think we're a team. That's <laughs> awesome. Situation. And that map, that was insane. How many mini games? So, originally, there, we aimed for 30. We got 23. But the problem was, is that with 23, the game just, like, died. <laughs> We, we broke creative <laughs> with how many games there were. So then we, we took out three of them, three of the less popular ones. And then, uh, so we ended up just having uh, 20. And then we had to take out one more at the end of 19, just because it, it needed to improve a little bit more. That's awesome. A lot of people are going to miss the World Cup. They announced it not being yeah. in person because of all this stuff. What was it like being a part of that first world cup oh my god it was it was insane i there's only so much i can put into words yeah but i got like the extra deluxe package because i also had the hollywood game jam event oh I yeah yeah to first so is the world cup story um in late march maybe early april lachlan reached out to myself about um Hawkins Landing, and then the next month, I uh, got Andrew onto the project as well. Late April, maybe early May, we started working on it. The map released mid-May for the qualifier. We spent the week uh, fixing it and correcting rules and etc. So it's more balanced. And then um, at some point, uh, we were flown down to LA. We knew we were gonna get flown out to LA the second we started working on Lockheed's Landing. It was just something 
he mentioned he's like by the way you're also gonna go to la for the fortnite game jam yeah no big deal <laughs> i mean my parents didn't think i was serious when i told them but anyways <laughs> um so that happened and then late june we went to la it's ironic because i'm like the closest one to la and i was the last one out of the 17 of us to arrive <laughs> <laughs> so we were flown down there and it was a whole documentary setup so we were in a hollywood studio for three days like uh, recording our process and our build process as we um created world cup maps i guess yeah not all of them made it in all of them got featured though um the uh junkyard juke is the main one that was made down there that uh made it into the actual world cup event it's tough to make a fully automated working map i guess in three days with bug fixing and play testing and all that yeah so for sure which one did uh, you work on so at game jam i worked on one that um that's the problem is I don't even remember the name. <laughs> like, it it was like a treasure hunt kind of map okay. that I worked on with Storm, and Shui, and Jadu. Oh, that's a team. It wasn't necessarily a bad map, but it was a little too complicated for World Cup, I guess. I feel you. So, uh, Junkyard Juke, it just, uh, it flowed really well. So, um, it, it was a great game. Props to Nella, uh, Word Andrew, KK, and Blue Drive for making that. Okay, so then after that, we all went home, and we actually did a lot of work at home for a bunch of maps that, uh, like, World Run was completely built at home uh, by us. I helped a lot with that one, so that was nice. And then um, after that, uh, in July, was the World Cup. So uh, I flew two days before the event because I wanted to do some tourist stuff before... uh, the actual uh play time i guess but then since i arrived there early they were like come down to the stadium we can do some testing <laughs> i was like all right so i ended up doing that i went down and being alone in the middle of the stadium with no crowd oh my i don't gosh. know why but there's something really like just wow about that like yeah am i really here right now so that is that insane. Was, yeah that's crazy do you have any idea what's next for your channel not really. The problem with creative is that it's it's very hard to grow. I guess it's it, it's an interesting community because mm-hmm. there's a select few people that are interested. Yeah. The reason I have 50k is because I've done a lot of work with Lachlan, and Lachlan subscribers either look me up or click on the link in the description and subscribe that way. Yeah. But um. I, I I really enjoy streaming builds to an extent. Uh, sometimes it gets chaotic, and it's also peaceful just to like build and chill on your own without having to worry about the chat to look at and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay, and then my last question for you. At the beginning of all of this, what did you expect? Did you expect this much? Did you expect to have a YouTube channel, a career doing this, playing video games? I most definitely did not. Um, I didn't. I, I would never imagine this, and my parents thought I was crazy when I was explaining everything that was happening. And um, yeah, I I definitely never expected anything like this. Oh, for sure. That's crazy. Well, I just know I've been keeping up with you for a while. I remember. I think you were the first murder mystery I ever played. Um, Mm -hmm. and it inspired me to do murder mysteries and I watched some of your streams early on with Driz, (laughs) (laughs) which that, that's a whole story right there. But, um, I just, I want to say thank you for all you do for the community, all the positivity you're spreading. And I'm just, I'm really thankful to have people like you to, uh, to look up to in this community. Well, uh, thank you for interviewing me. Dude, of course. Appreciate it.